Hi students, today we are going to discuss about a function whose name is signum function. Okay, so let us define what is signum function. If a function, if a function f x is defined as r to r real number set to real number set defined by defined by f x is equal to mod of x by x when x not equals to 0 and 0 when x is equal to 0. Then this function is called signum function. Okay. If a function is defined as f x is equal to mod x by x when x not equals to 0 and f x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 then it is called signum function and another representation of signum function is like that f x is equal to 1 when x greater than 0 f x is equal to minus 1 when x less than 0 and if 0 when x equals to 0. So these are two representation of signum function actually if we explain this then it can be represented as this actually if mod of x is equal to x when x greater than 0 we know about so fx will be fx will be x by x that is 1 when x greater than 0 and if x less than 0 then it will be minus x by x that is minus 1 when x less than 0 that is it and fx is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 that is this is a, this function is called signum function and we can represent this function like this or this ok now we discuss about the domain and the range of this signum function now we discuss about domain and range of this signum function ok so fx is equal to mod x by x when x not equals to 0 and 0 when x is equal to 0. It is very obvious that the domain of fx, domain of signum function is any real number. That is domain of fx is real number set. For any real number, this function can be defined. So, if we get positive real number, if we take positive real number then it gives this function gives you 1 if we take 0 then this function gives 0 and if we take negative real number then this function is my gives minus 1 that is for any look for positive real number for 0 and for negative real number we can get 1 0 and minus 1 so it is very obvious that domain of this uh, signum function is real number set and it is also very obvious that the range of this signum function will be 1 0 minus 1 that is range of fx that is range of fx we get 1 0 minus 1 that for any positive real number we get the output which is 1 for 0 we get output 0 and for negative real number we get minus 1 that is for any real number for any real number the functional value must be either 1 or 0 or minus 1 so range of this signum function will be 1 0 and minus 1 ok now we find some range of two function like signum of x square minus 2x plus 3 calculate range how we find range of this function calculate the range of this function to calculate the range of this signum function we first we first try to understand or we first try to define what is the sign of this expression what is the sign of this expression if we if we write this 
x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 2 and then it will be x minus 1 square plus 2. So it is very obvious that x minus 1 whole square it is a positive number and plus 2 is a positive number. So it is very clear that the x that x square minus 2x plus 3 always give you always give you a positive real number for any x that is x square minus 2x plus 3 as it represents like that x minus 1 square plus 2 we can say that x square minus 2x plus 3 for any real number for any real number x we get always a positive real number so this so this value must be a positive real number so signum function of positive real number always give you 1 so what will be the range of this function so what will be the range of this function the range of this function will be 1 for any real x for any real x we always get 1 so signum function so range of the signum function of x square minus 2x plus 3 will be 1 so range range will be 1 and if we if we find the range of this signum function signum of x square plus 1 it is very obvious that x square plus 1 for x square plus 1 for any real number of x for any real number of x x square plus 1 always give you a positive real number so again we write that positive real number so we know that uh, the functional value of positive real number of sig signum function you get among um, we get one so signum function of x square plus one always give you one for any real x we know that x square plus one for any real x x square plus one is a positive real number so signum function of positive real number always give you one so range of this signum function will be one okay now now we graphically represent signum function now we graphically represent signum function fx is equal to 1 when x greater than 0 0 when x is equal to 0 minus 1 when x less than 0 if we represent this signum function in graph so for 0 for x is equal to 0 you get 0 and suppose this is 1 and suppose this is minus 1 okay this is 1 and this is minus 1 so for any positive x this is x axis and this is y axis this is negative y this is negative x so for any positive real number of x we always get one that is for one we get one for two we get one for three we get one for four we get one for 3.5 we get one so for any positive real number we get one so f is f of zero is equal to zero so you do not touch this line start from and also for any re negative real number suppose f of minus 1 f of minus 2 always you get minus 1 so for any negative real number except 0 for any negative real number except 0 no? for any re negative real number you get you get minus 1 you do not touch or you cannot touch this now as we know for x is equal to 0 for x is equal to 0 we get y is equal to 0 so the function is defined as you do not touch it this function defined as for f is equal to 0 we get 0 for any real positive real number we get 1 for any negative real number we get minus 1 that's all for signum function please keep watching my channel and in the next class we 
डिसकस अबाउट मॉड्यूलस फंक्शन ओके